Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Falls Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now, this reading is a reading for the 21st of November 2020 and it is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it's really important that you take whatever resonates with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. If however you do have any questions um, you would like to have your own personal reading romancefultarot at gmail.com and um, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button and it would be very appreciated and I do thank you in advance. Um, this reading here is all about the universe. So the universe is bringing you, my dear friend Scorpio, this is a reading for you, is bringing you some messages. So I have five messages here for you, my dear friend Scorpio. But as I said in the beginning, some might resonate, some might not. So take whatever resonates with you, leave the rest aside and modify whatever you need to put into your path. Um, I am going to finish it off after with a light um, angel message because the universe message here is about warnings. It's about challenges that you have in your life right now. So we're going to finish it off with a lovely little light note. So with no further ado, let's turn these cards over and let's go see what's in store for you from the point of view of the universe. So let's just turn these cards over. Okay, so let's begin with this one. I find it absolutely gorgeous. She is melting into the chess game. And here we go. So, this is all about passivity. As she is showing, she is not acting upon the chess game. It's okay to let others fight your battles. It is for you now and then, but you can't be the best at everything. It's not possible. But don't surrender your free will to someone else in exchange for security. Letting someone else handle all of your problems gives away your power. And there will be a time when you struggle against the bonds of passive observation. And you're going to long for more independence. Perhaps that time has already arrived is a question you might want to ask yourself. Now, the universe wants you to know that there is a fight going on somewhere around you that will have some repercussions for you, so you do need to be aware of that. We're going to move on to the following challenge or warning, and here we are. Voila, and we're going to be talking about some motivation here. Things were going along so well, the universe wants to know what happened. Whether it's from wariness, from boredom, or even indifference, somehow the situation has become bogged down and no progress is being made. Consider how you can get things moving again and what would motivate your coworkers, your family members, or collaborators to participate wholeheartedly again. What incentive can you give yourself to move towards the finish line, but with more enthusiasm? There's no point in flogging a dying enterprise, but this one may just need a little bit of an encouragement, a little touch of the whip. There is um, a message from the universe coming with this, uh, with this card on motivation. Um, and it's health issues may be affecting your energy level right now. So please try and have a, a little look at that. We're now going to move over to karma. Remember that thing that you did? That thing you've always felt a little bit guilty about? It's come back around just like you always knew it would. But there's no avoiding it this time around. The good news is that you have an opportunity to clear your conscience and to make amends. If on the other hand, you are the one who was wronged and you see someone else getting their karmic commupence, try not to gloat. It's satisfying to be sure, but let your satisfaction spring 
from a sense of restored balance and not, but not, vindictiveness. You need to be brave and you need to face the music in this case. Now we're going to move over here to consanguinity. Some people feel like family, whether they share our blood or not. Friends can be even closer than kin, because you are drawn together by common interests, by common values. Who are those people in your life, you must ask yourself? Are you giving them enough time and enough attention? You need to reach out to your soul sister, to your soul brother. You need to trust them with your innermost hopes and fears. You've been keeping things bottled up inside you for far too long. And you are simply not alone. The warning here is don't let closeness turn into any type of codependence. And the final message is called wish. The universe is conspiring in your favor right now and it's time to make a wish. A really big wish and if there's something you want that you haven't let yourself believe in, go ahead and believe. Belief is what turns wishes into reality. But do be careful what you wish for. You must be specific. Don't ask for true love if your environment can't sustain it. Don't ask for a happy ending if you aren't prepared to compromise. The process of making your wish is going to clarify what needs to change in your life to make room for it. And then, poof, your wish is going to come true. If a wish goes awry, take some time to understand it before you wish again. Very important. We're now going to move over to your angel part of this reading and your angel wants to speak to you about opportunity. Now, we are all presented with opportunities and we are expected to flow with the currents that come our way. Drawing this angel message suggests that something is now being made available to you and it is up to you to use it to your greatest advantage. You must be alert, you must be aware, and you must be prepared. You can of course make your own opportunities and if you knock on enough doors, one will inevitably be opened to you. So you are also reminded to persevere. For it may be that a door which was previously locked has now been opened a crack. You need to quieten your mind and you need to ask the angels to help you. You are ready for new opportunities. That being said, my dear friend Scorpio, this does conclude your beautiful reading with the universe and the angels. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you'll be able to um, use some of it upon your journey. If you do have any questions, you would like a reading, you know where to contact me. All my information is in the description box. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for following readings and have yourself a beautiful day. I will see you tomorrow with a new message. Many blessings to you.